when you're not like touring or like at craft services with Kelly Clarkson, like Me. what, which is my <laughs> dream. Yeah, um, what, you're too fave. <sighs> Mookbang with Kelly. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so good. Could you imagine? Oh my oh. god. Just you and Trish and Kelly. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're going to be talking about another haunted location. And today's location does not get any more haunted than this. Because we are going to be going to a haunted cemetery. Now, I don't even really need to explain why this location is haunted. It's a fucking place where people bury dead bodies. I think that explains it enough. But as I was researching, I did find a cemetery that is pretty close to my house that actually has a very scary story. So today we are going to be talking about and exploring with Garrett and Drew later in the video, the Valhalla Cemetery. The Valhalla Cemetery was founded in 1923. The word Valhalla means Palace of Fallen Heroes. The cemetery was built partly as a memorial and a graveyard for deceased aviation heroes. Now in the cemetery there's a lot of famous pilots, a lot of people who have lost their lives in plane accidents, and it's right next to the Burbank Airport, which feels kind of weird to me because it's like an airport next to a cemetery filled with people who died in plane crashes. <laughs> Now, at the entrance of the cemetery, there's a huge structure. It's called the Portal of the Folded Wings, and it's to commemorate people that have lost their lives in aviation. Then, on July 18th of 1969, something fucking crazy and sadly ironic happened. A small plane fell from the sky and crashed into the structure. The pilot and one of the passengers was killed. But just think about it. How crazy is it that a plane crashed into a structure that was built to remember people that died in plane crashes? I can't wrap my brain around that. Now another really fucked up thing happened in this cemetery and it is so fucking creepy to think about. Now the founders of the cemetery had it taken away from them by the state of California because they were convicted of fraud. And it turns out they were double and sometimes triple selling plots. That means that they were burying bodies on top of bodies. Now, as you know, most coffins are dropped six feet underground to make sure that they stay there, but because they had been triple selling the plots, some bodies are buried only three feet under the ground, and it has been raining a lot this season, so something's gonna come up. <laughs> now, one last thing that is very, very uncomfortable and unsettling about this place is something that happened in the mid-80s. Valhalla got wrapped up in a controversy because they were illegally storing over 16,000 dead, aborted fetuses. I know, very, very dark, and supposedly the cemetery is haunted by a lot of unborn children. Now there's more to that story, but we're going to wait till later on in the video because Garrett has all the information and he's going to break it down. Okay, so here's what we are going to look for when we go to the cemetery tonight. We're going to check out the structure that the plane crashed into. We're going to try to get into the mortuary so we can see what's really going on. Because of all the rainstorms, we're going to see if we can see any hints of bodies rising from the ground. And of course, we're going to record sound and audio by the plane crash and take pictures and try to see if we can catch any ghosts. And last but not least, this is just kind of a cool thing, but Tim Burton actually grew up down the street from the cemetery and he would go and hang out there all the time when he was a kid. And in that cemetery is this huge creepy fountain and it's surrounded by like a bunch of little structures. And that's where he would hang out and write stuff. Well years later when he made his movies he started putting that cemetery fountain into a bunch of them. You can see it here in Alice in Wonderland and here in The Nightmare Before Christmas. All right so here we go. Let's go check out Valhalla. Okay guys, we are in the car on our way to Valhalla Cemetery. Garrett, are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. I'm really excited. I like cemeteries a lot. Drew, are you excited? We're all gonna end up there. True. Come on, buddy, I'm let's have But fun. it's true. I'm getting... Is that cremated? What was that? Yes, that's the ocean. Where, would you, where would you want your ashes spread? San Francisco, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on our way to the cemetery, and I'm really excited because, I mean, this is like legit. Like, yes, we've been to haunted places, but this is actually where there are dead people. Like, we are going to see some shit. So we have some cameras, we have some flashlights. Now, you said to me that you knew the full story about all the dead babies, so I didn't tell it. So what's the full story? Okay, it's really horrifying, and you guys, this is crazy because it happened in like 83 or something, so I had to, I was like looking on the internet about this, and I got really curious. I was going into like lawsuit cases to find out about this because there's no like articles that sum this up but basically this guy was found uh, in the Woodland Hills with this shipping container and he used to be like a doctor or something he was found with illegally with the shipping container and in it was 16,500 dead babies and basically 
<clears throat> the owner of this cemetery came forward and said, oh, we'll bury those babies. And then it caused this huge shit storm with the Catholic Church arguing over who should bury the babies and it turned into this three year thing with these babies just stuck in like, you know, formaldehyde for years and years. Anyways though, but apparently they were at this cemetery. They're not buried there, but apparently they were at this cemetery for a long time, like in their mortuary trying to figure out the whole situation. Why wouldn't was, they just eat them? I know, that's the big thing because a lot of people were just saying, we'll just gobble them up. I'm the one baby that's in there that's still alive. Like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Twist! <laughs> Alright, let's it. go to the cemetery. Isn't that so weird that it always rains every time we do one of these videos? Oh yeah, it is kind of spooky as hell. Alright, here we are. So this is... What is that? That's the mortuary where they keep the bodies and <gasps> Oh my god. Yeah, so it's like a medical facility too. You know, that's where they like embalm people and do all those things. Oh my god. Okay guys, so uh, we're having some trouble <laughs> because they just installed a brand new gate. So it's gonna be really hard to get in. But we're gonna drive around the back and see what we can do. You want me to jump over that wall with my leg all oh, fucked no, up? your foot's a little hurt, but it's like steps practically. A I'm wearing a brace! I know, I could carry you over. Oh my god. Also, that's us. I know. <laughs> okay, so. So that's the cemetery. There's a fence around it. Ugh, it looks like the Jeepers Creepers truck. This is terrifying. Oh my god, there's the graves. I can see them. All right, so Garrett's gonna check to see if there's a way into that. What if he just got shot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, then they'd bury him there and that's how he'd get in. <gasps> it's all making sense. What's the verdict? It's spooky as heck, I'll tell you that much. But it's just really, really, really thick shrubbery. It's like more than a gate. There's no way. We'll find it. Okay, why don't we just go up to the building and like knock on the door and say, hey, we love cemeteries. Can we hang out for like 20 minutes? Okay, well, that's a good idea. Should but I have money? Should we give them money? I feel like they do it for like 50 bucks. But I mean, let's just first make sure there's not a super obvious way to get in. All right, there's Valhalla Drive. Yeah, but we're stuck. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah, insane. We almost just got a couple of Valhalla. Victims. Okay, so we're at another back entrance, and there is the structure that we were talking about earlier. Oh my god, it's so big. Yeah. So in the 20s, this was like the main entrance to the cemetery. Now it's like a weird back entrance that no one goes to. So we're on the side entrance, and this is a neighborhood. People live <laughs> next to this. What? That's so scary. Are you fucking kidding me? Those are graves. Those are all graves. There's a grave two feet away from someone's bedroom. Okay, so now we're literally just in the entrance. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Ew, that is so creepy. Ew. All right, so are you gonna go ask the guy if we can come in? I'm gonna talk to someone. Oh my god. All right, let's see what happens. Wait, who's he talking to? I don't know, some guy. <laughs> All right, what happened? I found our way in. How? I just found it. What? So they Where? They left the crematory gate open, so we have to kind of go in, and then we there's a broken gate. Why don't we just keep our car here? You know what, we can, but I'm gonna drive away, in case there's someone watching us right now and going like, you know, oh, they're sketchy. Oh my wait God, guys, we got in! So we are literally just walking through the front door? Well, there's a there's a broken gate, and they left the door unlocked, so kind of through the front door. I'll go first. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I'm already like freaked out. Ooh, I'm already uncomfortable. So get that crematory sign. Wait, where are we going? What is Not this? That. Wait, we're just walking in? Crematory, ew, wait, where are we going? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Can you see how it has to be because the bodies are burned? Oh my god, oh my god, guys, we're fucking oh god, in, we're in, we're in. Wait, 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 walk this way. Where's like an area where people won't see us? Wait, that car, there's a car right there. Is there somebody in it? There's like a lot of people here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like 10 cars, huge, creepy, like cars that they put dead bodies in. Okay guys, so we're walking up to one of the graves. It's raining and it's still lit. Wow. I really want to make a this cemetery is lit joke, but I won't. I want to like get the flashlight out, but we can't yet. Let's try to find a more safe place. Wait, what is that? It's a, it's a little squirrel baby. I can't see it. Yeah. She was almost there. Oh my God. She literally got so close to the hole. She didn't make it <laughs> oh my God. Should we do some EVP? Oh my God, <laughs> ew. We already saw one corpse. I feel like they should bury it, right? We should? No, <laughs> ew. No, somebody. It shouldn't just be out on the street. Oh, this is cute. They like set up a whole thing. It's Valentine's Day, guys. That is really. Oh my god, that's actually real. gonna make me cry. Oh. That I actually will cry if I think about it too much. Oh my god, that's awful. Ooh, just being here is making me like feel real weird. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. Oof. What was that? Oh my god. One of the houses. I'm so freaked out right now. Okay, there's two big white vans over here. But you don't think there's anybody in them? No. What are they? Are these the vans that carry the bodies? Oof. 
We're getting close to the portal of the folded wings where the plane crash was. Wait, what are those? That's what they put the actual caskets inside of underground. Wait, so are there bodies in there right now? No, I don't think there would be bodies in there right now. Oh my god. This is meant for two. That's interesting. Oof. Oh my god. So this is for the survivors of the Columbia crash. Oh. It's wow. just, there's their photo. Mm. For the survivors? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because that would be petty. No, I meant... <laughs> I meant... Sorry. Wow. Oh, that's so sad. Wow. Oh my god. This is it. This is the big structure. Holy fuck. That's so huge. So, the guy who built this is buried underneath it. Oof. What does that say? Wait, what does this say? Welcome to the Shrine of American Aviation. The plaques are in mark the final resting place of pioneers of flight. You want to go in? Can we? Yeah. Is it open? Oh god. Okay. So let's see if we can find the gun. Wait, are there bodies in there? Yeah, these are mausoleums here. What does that mean? That means there's bodies inside of here. These are private and very expensive to own. Whoa. Ooh, this is making me feel real sketchy. Oh my god. It feels, I'm not crazy, right? It feels different? No, it feels very spooky. Drew, how do you feel? I never feel anything when you say that, and I feel like I'm missing out. Oh. <laughs> Maybe just go inside one of those, close the door, and <laughs> turn off the lights. Wait, what was that? Look at this. Oh my god. I don't like the sound of a plane <laughs> next to where a bunch of people died in a plane crash. Where? Okay, I just gave Drew my camera, so just take some <laughs> pictures around and let's see if we could see any orbs. Oh, that's a lot of little spirits. Count them. Wait, zoom in on it. Oh, hold on. Can you guys see that? Look at all the little... Ooh, Ooh. There's a fucking shit ton. That's not rain, because no, there's not. a ceiling over yeah. us, and I'm not feeling rain. No, there's no rain. Okay, wait, Drew, keep taking pictures. All right, what is that? Okay, so I got this little guy for EVP, so Shane, I think you should ask the question. Okay. Are there any spirits here with us right now? Do you want to tell us something? Are you upset? Do you feel like the cemetery isn't treating you right? Do you want us to leave? Also, did you used to fly? Drew, ask a question. <laughs> Do you miss what we have? Okay, so we'll listen to that back in the car. Okay, so now we're gonna go to where the actual plane crash was. I think that's where we should take some pictures too. So right here is the area where an actual small, like, twin pilot plane crashed, hit the top, caused a lot of damage, went right here. The pilot died, and so did uh, one of his passengers. There was one survivor, but this is where it hit, is right here. Drew, point up right there and just start taking pictures there. Total side note, Garrett noticed this. This truck has been there with its door open for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. So these are all marked graves that are being buried. As Wait, well as... those are those big boxes that we saw. Yeah. So those probably did have bodies in them. Oh my God, and we were like knocking on them and stuff. <gasps> oh my God, wait, put that down. That's, that's too much. So those aren't buried too deep. That's what's crazy. You know what else is crazy? That there's fucking dead people in here. Oof. I hope that like all the spirits aren't mad at us. Like genuinely just interested in this. I hope they don't think we're trying to like, fuck with them. Maybe some of them tried to be YouTubers and this is like their big chance. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we are at the fountain that I was telling you about. It's kind of hard to see, but that's it. I like it. It's really pretty. Yeah. Or am I supposed to say scary? No, I can say how scary it is. Ooh. <laughs> no, it is pretty. The water is like, oh no, the water is like gray. It's like ghostly water. Drew, touch it. Oh. Well, no, there's ghouls. <laughs> Alright, we saw everything we wanted to see. Now let's get I'm the fuck out of here and hopefully not get arrested. Like I'm gonna turn the camera off and hide my SD card in case cop like confiscates it. I'll see you back in the car. Okay guys, we're back in the car. We survived, we made it. Now we're listening to the EVP from earlier. Do you want to tell us something? Do you want to tell us something? Do you want to tell us something? 
Yeah, it looked. What was that? What is that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say tapes are creepy. No, the, no honestly, really. the scariest part was when you rewound. It. Yeah, <laughs> and it was, I was like, like is that that? but just to break that down, I feel like I feel like we need to get an actual ghost hunter who can like really help us with this stuff. I okay. can learn more ghost knowledge. I'm no, not ghost. Really, Where that ghost hunters? No, I really heard stuff, but I don't know how to like decipher that or like. You could send it to someone. You think we should send yeah. it to? Well, somebody, we should do stuff. like the next because we should do like a more proper EVP session. Like sit down. Uh, well, I heard something, guys. If you heard something, leave it in the comments. There were little breathy things. There was weird shit. Yeah. I don't know. That was really fucking creepy. I'm spooky. <sighs> Well, that was a cemetery, and uh, Drew, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. Yeah. Let's go back. <laughs> well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed that creepy video. If you did and you want more videos of me, Garrett, and Drew exploring haunted locations, please give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see all the other videos of us exploring haunted locations, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys, sleep safe. Bye. Now listen, I have introduced you to Kirsten. If you don't remember, here she is. And I even gave Kirsten a glow up for 2017. Here I am! But Kirsten got into an accident. She lost her face and had to get a transplant. And here she is.